Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I like to start out this with the Ephesians 6, 10 through 17 with putting the armor of God on to start our day with. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggles our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckle around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted for the readiness that comes with the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is God's word. All right. Uh, we will do a scripture and a prayer. In his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Proverbs sixteen nine. Let's read the back. I find the doing of the will of God leaves me no time for disputing about his plans. All right, and our prayer. Dear Savior, I praise you for not only being the Christ on the cross, but also the Lord of an empty tomb. You alone bring me victory and joy. Amen. Now let's read the back. Every seeking soul finds its answers at the foot of a manger and the foot of a cross. So I hope that this has prepared you for today. I hope it's brought you encouragement um, in some way. And that you receive it in your heart. And know that I love you. But not as much as Jesus loves you. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you the next time.